The Memphis City Council wants to add regulations to the short-term leasing industry in the Bluff City. WRAG's Marcus Hunter was there and breaks down the new requirements. With complaints about short-term rentals in the Mid-South being used to throw large house parties, three major changes are coming. The first, a permit for the rental is now required. The second, puts a cap on the number of bedrooms a short-term rental can have. In some cases, uh, council members were getting complaints about, you know, short-term rental properties that had, you know, eight and nine sleeping rooms, and by nature, uh, they had essentially just turned into party houses. The cap is now three. If your short-term rental has more than that, you will be denied. The person seeking the permit must also provide proof of ownership be current on their taxes, provide proof of insurance, and a local emergency contact. Also, the permit is not permanent. It can be revoked. If the property is in violation of any generally applicable local law three or more times um, as found by a court. The property must also pass an inspection by a code inspector. Residences already established as short-term rentals with the city are grandfathered in without any new regulations. The changes only apply to properties that got their designation after July 1st. The permit fee cost $300 and has to be renewed annually for $150. Several council members voiced concerns about parties, asking Director of Planning and Development John Zena what can be done if the owner does not follow the rules? If you have constituents who are concerned about a property that's being used for a party house, that needs to be submitted as a complaint for a zoning violation. We can open a case, we can investigate it, and in all likelihood, there is action that we can take. In downtown Memphis, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. And permits will be issued by the City of Memphis Division of Public Works.